How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video, I kind of encountered a weird glitch while I was trying out the 91 overall Oral Hershizer that they just released into the game today, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. I'll explain exactly what I mean when I'm talking about the glitch when it happens in the game, but here we have an updated schedule. We have a lot of new stuff coming into the game, new Battle Royale rewards, and roster update, new May moments, as well as monthly awards for April. So with that being said, we also got some set four headliner packs in the pack store. I think you can get a Washington Senators throwback jersey, as well as this 91 overall Oral Hershizer. Oral Hershizer is always one of the best pitchers in MLB The Show. Uh, we will go through his attributes and everything, but I also wanted to talk about this brand new player program in Houston Street. I was incorrect with my prediction, but we ended up getting Houston Street. And this is a good way to earn some free cards. You know, if you don't have uh, the gold Mickey Mantle, the diamond Eric Davis, and then of course that evolution Jason Giambi, we will add more cards to those player programs and they mentioned that coming up with the new evolution card but this houston street is looking pretty good i'm kind of cycling through um some of his attributes or at least i'm going to in terms of his velocity his pitch break and his control i think that uh this card could be pretty nice i mean he doesn't throw the hardest he's got great break and control on all of his pitches and houston street was more of a pitch to contact type of guy anyway that's why his hits per nine is way up and his K per nine is not that high. So same kind of thing here with Oral Hershizer. We'll go through his break control and velocity. I think this card is always one of the best pitchers, like I mentioned earlier, but it's because of that sinker cutter combination. If you're able to mix that in well, along with the changeup and curveball, this one does not have a slider like we saw in last year's game. He did have a slider. So maybe the next version of Oral Hershizer will have a slider. I don't know. I would think we would get a 99, but eventually uh anyway we do have part two of this event we have the national league pitchers against the american league hitters with no additional rewards so i'm going to go ahead and hop into some gameplay here we're going to be trying out the oral hershizer in a couple different event games that way i can just use him a few times to see how he does i'm going to start this game off with a cutter inside see how that works i'm also not using pinpoint pitching i know that it's more accurate but i'm not the best with it I'm not the best pitcher in this game in general, but I'm going to go ahead and try some of these cards out, and then we'll talk about the glitch a little bit more when that occurs. So, uh, Oral Hershizer, the first thing I wanted to mention is that he does have a different motion in this year's game. It's not really as noticeable when he's throwing out of the stretch. It looks very similar, but when he's actually out of the full windup, he doesn't have as smooth of an animation but i don't know if you saw that in the background there roberto alomar took off from second base that wasn't the glitch that i'm talking about but i have seen that happen a couple times where the runners will just get speed burst animations uh on defense as well as on the bases that's the first time that i was able to kind of capture it within the video as we're kind of going through some pitches here with oral but the the number one thing about this card is that all of his pitches move he's got great movement on those pitches and they just work really well off of each other he's just always hard to square up he's always hard to hit in every mlb the show i like this card uh we had the same card art and a postseason version back in mlb the show 17 he was a 99 overall amazing player but uh in this game this one I, I wasn't really able to hit. I, I was off the ball completely. Uh, I also had a couple good squared up hits that went right to the fielders. I mean, this one was under it, but it was also good. This is where we're going to get the glitch. If you notice, my base runners have completely gone away. I'm not able to advance them. It was a hit and run situation. Uh, not, not necessarily with the runner that I had, but that was a really weird play. And it also cost me the game. I mean, I had other opportunities. I didn't lose solely on that. Uh, play right there but I think I would have been able to score some more runs and the opponent ended up coming back and walking it off with a base hit so with that being said I did end up losing my first game legit within this event um, still haven't technically lost the game of ranked seasons however I have been losing several times within a game and then just got a disconnect or that blue screen error um, but here we're going to try out Oral Hershizer once again and he seems to be pretty good I gave up a home run to Griffey I uh, threw a bad cutter to him but I really think that overall the Oral Hershizer card will be extremely effective. If you are a good pitcher in this game, then you probably won't give up many runs with him. Uh, he just seems to have that type of play style. And I know that I'm kind of showing some clips with him throwing from the stretch because there are guys on base. But I don't think that his motion really makes that much of a difference in terms of like how he's going to play or how deceptive he is. He's still really good. And if anything, the the extra hitch in his windup will help him a little bit more. 
if that makes sense. Now, uh, that's going to be it for the gameplay with Oral Hershizer, but I wanted to include some other highlights. I've played a few of these event games so far, right? As they release this content, I was working, I was teaching, and that kind of reminds me, if you are uh, busy at the time that MLB The Show drops some content and you want to try some of the cards out or you want to you know, purchase them off the market, buy the headliner packs right away, if there's a flash sale, if there's something that happens within the game and you're not able to access your console, you can go to uh, MLB The Show Nation or theshow.com and log into your PlayStation Network account or your Xbox account and I guess really do whatever on the game that you'd like to. You'd be able to sub your players in and out. That's exactly what I did. I bought Oral Hershizer for 47,000 stubs uh, on my phone and then put them into my lineup, took a picture of it, put it on Twitter, explained a little bit on how to do that. But uh, I think it's really helpful because then once I got home, I was able to have my lineup ready to go. If I wanted to hop into ranked seasons, I could have done that. I wanted to try this event though. So I just built my team. I already had the card, even though he might have, you know, dropped in price a little bit since then. I, I'm i not worried about a few thousand subs. I am going to use this Oral Hershizer card throughout the entire year, most likely. If not the entire year, most of the year, I think he'll be pretty good. He looks, you know, pretty close to end game right now. I know that his K per nine is not as high as other pitchers will be during the end game. Here, I was trying to use him. And the opponent drilled him and then then ended up quitting out of that last one. So uh, this uh, these highlights right here are actually from the previous event. I wanted to take you through uh, some home runs that weren't necessarily perfect. Right in my last video, I posted a lot of perfect home runs. Here are uh, you know a few highlights from some of those games that didn't necessarily include perfect home runs. And JT Romuto is definitely a good catcher. I tried this card out just recently in the event. And in like two at-bats with him, I hit two homers. Uh, here we got Alfonso Soriano with a weird hit. This is just course. Zero user skill involved with that swing. Also, the card's very good. And that's course field taking over. That was a weird home run. But this is also going to be a pretty weird hit. Take a look at this swing. PCI all over the baseball, slightly out in front of it. Steve Finley hits it with like a 50-degree launch angle. And it's a pop-up that goes out. So... Uh, you know that course Field and elevation in this game is going to make a big difference. Here's another example. Jackie Robinson, third batter in a row with the later side of good. Uh, actually, two out of three were later side of good right there. And a pop-up. Once again, dead center. Now we have Ronald Acuna. This one's a little bit better. Probably a better swing than all of them combined. Even though I'm way out in front of a pitch on the outside corner and I pulled it. It's just better PCI placement, better timing in general. And it's Ronald Acuna. He's just an absolute glitch. But uh, let me know if you've encountered that hit and run kind of weird glitch in this game. It might be a bug. It might be just a one-time thing that I have never seen. Um, but also, the I guess, the speed burst with the guys on the bases when they're stealing or uh, in the outfield. I know that it happens with animations, but that's a little bit different. Let me know what you all think. Anyway, I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.